Hello everybody, this is Edward Lara from American Home Health. I'd like to take the time to show you something that can save you, uh, in my view, uh, a lot of time when it comes to charting. There's a feature on your iPad that's called text replacement. Uh, this feature, it's, it's better showing it than telling you about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to type here three characters, one LP, and hit the space bar. And as you can see, I have the 1LP replaced, again, text replacement, to with this long paragraph. It doesn't have to be a paragraph. It can be a, a sentence. It can be a phrase. It, there's no limit. It can be a long word that you, you know, don't like to type. Uh, I'm going to show you how this works. Let's go to the main screen, and let's look for the settings app. In your case, the app that you have might be on the home screen somewhere. Mine is at the bottom of the dock. So I'm going to tap on, on that. I'm going to go to my left here, look for general. Um, then on the right, I'm going to look for keyboard. And on the right, on the keyboard, I'm going to look for text replacement. And I have a few set up already. I'm going to, uh, on the S, I'm going to um, test SAST, S A. Uh, SST, I'm going to delete this, SASST, hit the space bar, there you have it. Um, you can take a look on the, the text replacement here by tapping on it, and you can see my phrase, and you can see my shortcut here. So, the way you set this up is you go to the plus sign at the top, and in there you can type, you can type your phrase. Type. Okay, let me just put a space here. Type any phrase. And yeah, so I can name this well, YC, let's just say YCP and save. When I come back to here, I'm gonna just hit enter, YCP, you can type any phrase. So you see the power of this, just take those repetitive uh, sentences, phrases uh, that you have to type every day and convert them into a text replacement. Um, there's a word of caution though. I have here an example on this. I use put here C-A-N. The phrase is just um, garbage, but the idea is to show you um, that you don't want to do something like this. Don't use naturally occurring words like can when creating a shortcut. Uh, the reason for that is if I say I can do this, oh, all of a sudden it replaced it because I created a text replacement replacement with the word C A N, and that can become pretty annoying uh, quick. Which is why uh, I created a video on how to turn off auto correction because auto correction is the system trying to do this for you automatically, it's just correcting the word. Text replacement is totally under your control. It's, it's different. So you're the one determining what's going to be replaced. So you don't want to do something like this. Maybe you do uh, CN because it's not a naturally occurring combination. And um, so so just keep that in mind. And you can create things like, um, let's see, on, on there are uh, receive endorsement from uh, rece or, rec or report given to or report taken from whatever uh, format you use and you know it will be nice that all the nurses in the case in a particular case agree to phrases that way you create one shortcut if you create multiple shortcuts for similar phrases with no harm um, at all and but it will be nice if it's standardized think of that as your own set of um, abbreviations that you can use to expand into full sentences, full uh, paragraphs, or phrases, or you know, just words. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, just feel free to, to give me a call. I'll be more than glad to walk you uh, over this. Thank you for your time.